O Canada. I'm kind of Canadian. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Moncton, New Brunswick for the Atlantic Nationals. This is a really big show. In fact, I think it's the biggest show in Canada, and it's in the Maritime Provinces. It includes a downtown cruise-in right on Main Street, Moncton, then moves out here to Centennial Park for two days of automotive fun and festivities. I love this show, love the people. There's a lot of lobster up here, too. Let's get around and check out some of these maritime rides. Well, we meet again. <laughs> and welcome to the Sweet 16. It is the 16th year for the Atlantic Nats, isn't it? It absolutely is. Bigger and better than ever. This is an amazing show. I mean, uh, I, I go. To, you know, this is what I do. Um, I, I noticed. Yes, that. <laughs> but just it's such a unique show. The setting and everything, and it's like there's about six different shows going on here. It feels like. There is. Diverse cars, lots of different things. When we started this show, we reached out to several of the clubs in the community. The, the uh, Camaro Club, the Corvette Club, the Mustang Club. Yeah. They're eligible for all of our prizing. Plus, they do their own t-shirts, their own prizes, and so on in the show. And that's the so, other thing. I think you guys, I've never seen a show that gave more stuff away. I mean, you guys, it's crazy, actually. I mean, you do a car every year, don't you? This year, we're giving away this killer 1967 Chevelle Malibu SS. Canadian, Canadian only, only, eh? Absolutely, <laughs> eh? I love coming up here mm. because I see stuff that I don't see anywhere else. For sure. I saw a beautiful 67 Beaumont Sport Deluxe. Beautiful car. The red one. Yeah, the red one. The red one. Beaumont Sport Deluxe. Only in Canada. It's just wonderful. Everybody seems to be having such a good time. I've been here now, I guess this is my fourth time over mm. the years. Uh, yeah. And it's just always fun to be back. And, you know, all roads do not lead to Moncton, New Brunswick. But I've run into people that I've run into at shows like in New Jersey and stuff. I mean, people are coming up from, from all over the place. All over the place. It is one scary bunch, let me tell you. We've got cars from everywhere. I thought there were a lot of cars yesterday. There's so many cars out here at the park, it's crazy. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. We're back well over 1,800 today, and we've got the rest of the day today and all of tomorrow. Well, let's get around and check out some of these cars. What do you say? Sounds great. All right, man. Wow. So Steve, I love this car. I love, I've got a 67 suicide door, four door bird. You don't see these cars. So when I see one, I'm always drawn to it. <laughs> and then that's where, where, where I first met you and met the car. And I finally tracked you down. I figured we should, we should talk about this. So okay. this, is a, this is a 68, the second year for this car. Yes. Obviously you've, you know, you've redone it and this not a stock color, but what is this? It's a tangerine orange with pearl and a hint of candy. And oh, the, yeah. you know, the hideaway headlights and that oval mouth, I love it. Four doors cool because of the suicide door but the thing you give up in the four door is you give up that back seat yeah that curved back seat yeah because the four doors have it square back yeah yeah and these are the original the embroidered seat covers and everything entire interior all original on this do they still call this the flyaway uh tilt tilt okay yeah. but it but it tilt. flyaway yeah. yeah once you open your door oh, and it opens, pops you up. open up your door yeah when i saw it the thing that uh, really caught my eye was just how great your top looked and I was like, Steve, how do you do this? How do you, you know, what do you use on this? And you said that you use black shoe polish, like like kiwi shoe polish. You got it. I just rub it one way, rub the other way, <laughs> circle it in, and buff it one way, and again the other way, and poof, poof. Yeah. <laughs> this big light bar. Nothing looks like this going down the road, uh, and it's still sequencing, right? Sequential. Yeah. One, two, and three. She all lights up, ready to cross over. Yeah. I just these look great going down the road. Yeah. I I just I've always loved this car. Now mine, I've got the 390. You got. Big, the big one. 429. Right? 429. Let's go look at that 429. Let's go for it. Wow, that's a that's a pretty 429 too. <laughs> you must have had that out. Nope. Really? That's completely well, original. Did you paint the block in place? <laughs> Tiny little paint brush. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Very meticulous. And she's never even been out. No. It's no. It, wow. When I uh, they say you can't put headers in a 67, 8, or a 9. We made them wrong on that. We got so the did you have to custom there. make them, or they were uh, bought out of a place in uh, the U.S. called uh, Ford Parts Train. Yeah, and they make them, but they also tell you you have to have put new engine mounts in, mm -hmm. and you also have to uh, do some adjustments. Thunderjet 429. Yep. Oh man, and the pneumatic 
vacuum controlled headlight doors. Yep. Oh, Steve. I and they all car. work. They, that's amazing. <laughs> well, this, one of my favorite cars here. Steve, 68 T-Bird 429 Thunderjet. I love it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, man. <laughs>Victor, this is stunning. I'm a Lincoln guy anyway. This is a 55 Lincoln Capri, right? Correct. Man, and this is, you talk about a 50s car, this this coral. Cashmere coral. You even have the, the body color on the that, wheels. That's correct. And exactly. was that, that was and that's they, the way it came, exactly yeah. like that. And then all this uh, gold. That's too. actual gold too. This it was is actually really? gold plated. That can't be original. Have you had that no, redone? No, it's been redone, correct, exactly. That can't be cheap. No. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, no. no. Uh, not no. at all. I have a 56 Premier, which was uh, the, the top of the line for 56. In 56. And, and the, then the Capri was the second relegated line to the next. Down. That's correct. But it exactly. had a, it had really quite a different front end. Oh, yes. They changed them drastically on them, really. When you see the interior, it, that is very different than the 56, and it's much older. That's correct. They ran this dash and interior from 1952 when they came up with this model uh -huh. to 55. It is push button start. Oh, is it? Yes, and in 56, it came out with start on the key with the 12 volt. Is there is there park in this car? Uh, correct, but you have to start in neutral. Right, that's what it was. I knew yes. there was something yeah. about that. You have yeah. to start in neutral. It won't start in park. You have to start in neutral. What a beautiful car, though. And, and these skirts, that's factory? That's, that's correct. And then they, they all came with the skirts on them. So that is, I mean, the whole skirt here, but then right over the wheel, that's at least three feet. Yes, that's correct. And then exactly. chrome, that's a chrome at the bottom, right? Yeah, it's stainless. Stainless. That's stainless, right. most, and stainless back underneath here. Most of this trim is, in fact, that's stainless. That's correct, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This was also in a 56. I love it. Can I, can I lift that's, it? Oh, yeah, go ahead. The little knight's head lifts up, and you put your key in there to to uh, unlock your trunk. This is so pretty. <laughs> I had a 368 in the 56 and uh, you? A 341 in this one. Let's go look at it. They're basically the same blocks. Oh, wow, look at that. I mean, that, that does look like the same block. Correct, that's right, yeah. This was with the same valve covers they had basically from 52 to 55. Mm, the gold with the that's red and with black. With the red accessory, or yes, the Lincoln on that. There and like that. oil bath air cleaner. Correct, exactly. And, and these have really funny carburetors. Yeah, they're a Holly uh, uh, teapot carburetors, what yeah, they call them. Right. Holly built them. The float, uh, the fuel bowls on the top of them, and they, they were noted for percolating and heating up. And yeah, right, and exactly. Now, I've been fortunate with this. This one has worked perfect. So 55 yeah. Lincoln Capri convertible in cashmere coral. 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 Wow, what a car! Anyway, thank <laughs> you. Thanks, Victor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Doug, this is cool. 61 Dodge Pioneer. Yep. Right. Well, when I saw it, I actually thought it was a Phoenix. Well, Pioneer had less, little less trim. It was middle of the line. Oh, so it was kind of like a, 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 a Biscayne Bel Air Impala. They That's were it. really the same body. Seneca, trim. Pioneer, and Phoenix. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. This hood, the fake louvers and everything. That's what it came with, right? That's it. And yep. it was that only one year? Two. I think '60 had the fake louvers, but that was it. I like the pinstriping because it's it's a little plain Jane otherwise, and. and you know, with that, it really subtle, but it sets it off real nice. Yep. Now, you, you're like from Ontario or something, right? Yep. So you drove this here to New Brunswick. I drive it everywhere. Wheels are great. What, what are they? I mean... Just wheel vintiques. Chrome reverse, basically. Chrome kind of, reverse. And the wide whites on this wide look great. Whites. This roof line just, I don't know, just so, so A lot sleek. of people think it's custom, but it's, I know it does. it's it the looks, way they build it. And, and what? What an interior. Is this... Like the, the fabric it's it would have had or? Similar, very similar. Not exactly, but very similar. Push button trans. So yep. it's got the uh, torque flight in it, I'm assuming. Uh, cast iron torque flight. This has got this sort of bamboo headliner. That's not, that's, no. that's a custom thing. It was a silly idea I had. My headliner guy said, don't ever tell anybody that I did this because I'm not doing it again. <laughs> but I also like, I always like the speedometer that's sort of lit from the sky. You can see it from both sides at night. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I love this. And like I say, this reverse fin, to me, I mean, I just think this is the one of the highlights of the car. It's, it's high here and low there. You know, whips around. And what wild tail lights. Again, I don't, you know, the front end's a little bit controversial, but I tell you, that roof line in this back, I don't know what everybody was complaining about in 61. So this would have had like a 318 or something? It's got a 318. Okay, yep. Let's go look at it. All right. So it's 318 little, poly, yeah. is, is they call this 318 poly? poly. It's a little dirty under here. This is a driver. 
Well, you, you, know, you came from Ontario, and you're probably leaving here to go to Bonneville, if I know you're... Uh, you know. In another few weeks. Another few weeks, you're yep. going. So does she run pretty well? Excellent. Gets in the 20s. You're kidding. Yep, I've thought of putting a four-barrel on it, but I'm not screwing it up. It runs... Is it a two-barrel? Two-barrel. It just it runs, runs too good. Right? Runs too good. A lot of times you you take it the wrong direction when you start messing around. <laughs> I have messed them up in my life before, so <laughs> we'll leave it alone. So you must you must like this show if you come here all the way from uh, Ontario. This is the first time I've been to this. Oh, one. is it really? Yeah, I've heard of it lots. But so what do you think? I love it. It's I'll, cool, isn't it? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll probably be driving if I know you. I will be driving. Yeah. Sixty-one Dodge Pioneer. That's it. I love it, man. Okay. Beautiful car, Thank dog. you very much. You bet. Thank you. Well, Roger, I saw this downtown yesterday, and it, it caught my eye from afar. <laughs> I really like this car. 71 Torino, right? Yes. It's a pretty rare car it, in this part of the woods. Well, it is almost everywhere because people use these cars up. They were prone to rust. Yes. And people didn't care that much about them. And they kind of, they're all gone. And now when you see when you go, wow, wow, look at that. And what a great grill too. I mean, it's just, this car just looks really nice. And was yeah. it this color combo? Is it that was stock? exactly like this. Really? Yes. What do they call that? This color is light pewter metallic. Light pewter metallic. All this blackout back in the day was flat, wasn't it? Yeah. That was always a problem because you got any wax on it. That, that would oxidize like crazy. It was terrible. The people that painted the car said, well, let's mix something up so that it'll be maintenance free. Man, oh man. Magnum 500 wheels? Is that yes, what they're called? That's what oh, they're, man. Yeah, the interior, though, just kills me because I wouldn't expect a brown interior to work with this car, but it does. Yeah. And this is the original fabric and everything? Yes. The only thing I did to the inside was uh, a new carpet. You've got a Hurst shifter. I don't remember him coming with that. No, no. I didn't. <laughs> this, this was a column shift car. Oh, uh huh. And I really didn't want to shift this like my dad shift his LTD. <laughs> so uh, I put a Hearst slapstick in it in the late 70s. It's kind of a period tack too. That didn't yeah. come with it. You just put that in it. Yes. And these are the sports slats or whatever they call them. But yeah. uh, that made a big difference really because this was a greenhouse and it got really hot. This exactly. really did keep them cool. And they were flat also. Yeah. As was this back it, plate. It, precisely. But you know, in gloss, it really pops. Yeah. And how about the Cobra graphics? Were those on the car? They were. That was. They, that's what it was in '71. That's what it was. This thing just looks awesome. Let's go see that Cobra jet under the hood. Sure. Wow, you man. <laughs> this is like this is like it looked like on the showroom in '71. I think maybe better. Man, 429 Cobra jet. That's a pretty strong engine. It's got a lot of torque. Car's got a good top end. <laughs> you, you're told, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I hear, right? Well, I remember from when I was 22 and drove. Young and foolish. Yeah. I just love this car. I mean, like I said, I saw it downtown yesterday, and I was like, oh, man, I got to find this guy. This yeah. is so yeah. great. Oh, I've always adored my car. I've always loved it. Oh, 71 Torino Cobra Jet. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful car. Thank, Thank you, Roger. Man. Ted, this is a wild car. I've always loved these. This is a 72 Volvo. P1800 ES, right? Correct. And yeah. so everybody thinks of the, the P1800, the, 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 the Saint drove and the little, you know, little sports car and stuff. But this was the, the wagon version of it. And was E basically a state? Did that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What a wild car. Mm -hmm. You don't see these very often. I believe there was uh, just over 8,000 made. Well, nothing looks quite like it. It's, it's, I think it was like probably the sexiest wagon of the day for sure. And it's still one of the sexiest wagons ever ever built. Now, is this a stock color? Um, almost. It's got a little metallic in it. And these wheels are not what came on the 1800s, but they look, they're Volvo wheels, right? Yeah, yeah. These wheels, they put on a 240 GLT. You know, it gives you a little bit of a custom hot rod look, but, but still in the Volvo family. So yeah. it's, it's great. But the interior, I didn't remember it being this plush. These are the, these are, 1800 seats? Yeah, those are 1800 seats. The front seats were redone. The carpet has been redone. There's not a lot of room in here. They are kind of tight, aren't they? Or... Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I love the gauging too. I mean, this is this is a sporty car. These are really, mm -hmm. I mean, they're real Euro. I just love them. You've got the, the 1800 fin that, that comes back here, but this back window just is so cool. I mean, there's a little bit of a Vante look right here. I don't know what, I don't <laughs> know what it is for me, but, but I think this is, there's just, there's still nothing that looks like this. So these were powered by a what? A B20 engine. B20, let's go look at it. And it's uh, fuel injected. Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. What a wild manifold. It's a four cylinder, and it is fuel injected? Yes, yeah, that's, that's the fuel injection. It's a two liter B20 engine. Uh, Volvo put uh, five main bearings in these motors. Really? And, um, in this little motor they had five main bearings? Yeah, it would go a long, long time. Millions of <laughs> miles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now is this, I just noticed, is this like the original color? This is the original color. So it's not, and, you're right, it's not quite as metallic, but similar in tone. Yeah. That is one pretty car. So we have a 1972 Volvo P1800 ES. Correct. Beautiful. Thanks, Ted. Okay, thank nice you. Nice ride. Oh man, the Atlantic Nats in Moncton, New Brunswick is really a lot of fun. There's great cars up here, great folks. And did I mention lobster at the beginning of the show? Oh, I'm going for some lobster now. Atlantic Nats in Moncton, check it out. <laughs>